A few weeks ago, Andy Cockrave reached out to Jonathan Drummy and I to have a look back at some of the tips from our blog that have performed well, but were pretty old, and could they be done differently with Tableau 10. So I went and looked at my blogger stats, and looking at all of the posts that have been on my blog, the tip that I thought would be the most useful is this one about using the total function to summarize dimensions. And in this view, this was before level of detail expressions. So the purpose of this particular exercise was to basically count the number of customers in each year that had over 35,000 in sales. And as you scroll through this blog post, you'll see that it requires the total table calculation. Well, when you have a total table calculation, that requires you to also have customer in the view. Now, how can level of detail, how can we do that differently with level of detail expressions? So that's what I'm going to show you today. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to bring order date to the rows and bring customer name to the rows. And this is just for demonstration purposes. And then I want to just go ahead and uh, put sales and then filter sales to those that are having at least 35,000 in sales. Okay, and if I click on 2012, you see it's 8, 2013 is 7, 2014 is 5, and 2015 is 5. Okay, great. So now what we need to do is we need to create a level of detail calculation that basically returns 8, 7, 5, and 5. So how can we do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is remove customer name from the view. I'm going to take sales off of the filter and take sum of sales off of the view. So I'm back to just year. So what I need to do is I need to create a level of detail expression. So I'm just going to call this customers. <clears throat> and what I want to say here is I want to do, I want to say uh, something like uh, I want to include the customer because that's not currently in my view. And then I'm just going to write a simple if statement. I'm going to say if the sum of sales is greater than or equal to 35,000, then give me a one else, zero, end, and then I want to close off my level of detail expression. So again, this is doing an include level of detail expression brings that additional dimension into the view. Say OK. And now let's put customers onto the view. And just like that, we've got eight, seven, five, and five. No need for the filter because that's done inside of my calculation itself. So, how can we expand that a little bit farther? Well, first, let's go ahead and move customers to the, and change this to a bar. And now we can see the customers in, um, in each year that have had at least 35,000 in sales. Okay, maybe we'll go ahead and turn on the labels. So, what I might want to do from here is probably extend this a little bit and give my users a bit more control. Oops, I don't want to create a calculated field. I want to go ahead and create a parameter. So uh, I'm just going to call this minimum sales. In this case I'm just going to make it an integer and I'm going to allow any value to be typed in. Hit OK. And then let's go ahead and show this parameter control. And what I want to do now is I want to edit my, my uh, calculation to say if it's greater than or equal to my min sales. Hit OK, and now you'll see 634, 642, etc. So now if I type 35,000 in my, in my uh, parameter, you'll see I see 8 customers, 7, 5, and 5. Or I could type in 50,000, and there's only 2. Or I could type in 10,000, and there's 142. So really simple, much easier than using a level of detail expression, I'm sorry, than using a table calculation. And again, the calculation is very, very simple. I'm just including my customer, which would be similar to putting customer on the, on the detail shelf. And then I just set my criteria inside of the level of detail expression. So I hope you found that helpful, and I'll be back next week with another tip.